Okay, so we're here with uh, Sunny D from Monkpin, original from Nova Scotia, but he's uh, one of the busiest DJs here. How you doing today, Sunny? Good. Good. Awesome. So, uh, tell us a little bit about your beginnings. How did you start this uh, electronic music business? Uh, well, actually, when I was eight years old, <laughs> my uncle gave me a bunch of old equipment, and I used to drag to school and hold little dances at lunchtime. When I went back to university, I was working as a bouncer at a club and uh, just started throwing records down again and one thing led to another and it kind of took off. You know, I started getting bookings like crazy in Halifax and, and uh, I guess the rest is history. Awesome. So tell us about your biggest events that you have done. Uh, I know you've been... You've been in this uh, game for quite a bit, and you have done uh, really good shows. And uh, just tell us a little bit of how many shows or DJs or stuff that you have done through the years. Well, um, I played with like DJ Dan, uh, Richie Houghton, um, Donna Blood. Recently, I, I got to open for Tiesto. Wow. In Halifax, just a couple months ago. That was so how does that feel open for the biggest DJ in the planet? It was fun. There was probably uh, I don't know, two thousand people there when I was playing, so it was a you know a pretty good crowd. It was incredible sound lights. It was you know the kind of production you don't see every day. That's for sure. So tell us about what do you like? What's your gender? What do you what do you feel most comfortable playing on the set? And if I had my choice. Probably say uh, you know I like to play it like deep jazzy house uh, either that or if it's more of a peak time kind of venue you know some real thing and techno. Okay, so what are your main influence when it comes to tracks that you play? Like? Um, for mostly stuff like old Cascade, you know before he. Trancy. Trancy, I guess, yeah. <laughs> um, Joe Youngman, uh, Greens Keepers, stuff like that. You know, funky, but on the deep tip, too. Uh, and for techno, like Old Mistress Barbara, uh, UMAC, I like a lot. Hot. Yeah. Some of the old stuff I like to play a lot. Okay. So, uh, you're another. I, I always ask this question because this is kind of like a Canadian Maritimes type of site. Uh, how do you see electronic music in the Maritimes? Uh, when I lived in Halifax, I, you know, I had a, a pretty narrow view of it. But since I've moved to Moncton, there's a, a bit of a divide between. Brunswick, the French, and, and the music they kind of like, they like, it seems like, you know, the harder the electro, the better, you know, even trancy stuff you can get away with in the French, um, whereas the English here seem to prefer hip-hop, even dubstep, and, and drum and bass. Okay. So, you, you would feel like it's a, kind of like a divided side within when it comes to, to, to different genders? I can definitely see the, a different reaction from people on the dance floor to what I play. Um, you know, if, if I play, you know, some progressive house or some electro or something like that, it seems to me like the French people seem to, to feel that more than the English people here in Moncton anyway. Okay. That's obviously different in Nova Scotia, where they don't have the same French culture. But uh, I think that's probably, you know, the influence of Quebec and Montreal. Okay. So tell us about what you're currently working in, and what are your future plans? Well, recently I started at uh, uh, at the O2, when I've been doing Rouge for years as well. So, uh, you know, that's kind of a, 
a big focus for me is is developing a show that's you know, right now incorporating lighting and visuals into my show, so you don't just get you know me mixing music, you get you know, a visual backdrop to go with every track and uh, synchronized lighting that that follows you know, the follow the music as well, which people seem to be appreciating. You know, I put a lot of work into it. I just finished school with the Icon Collective, so I've got a, a better grasp on uh, producing my own music, so you know, mixing some of my own tracks, and uh, hopefully, with some luck, I'll have some out in the next few months. Awesome. So in case people want to know more about you or get more information from you, where do they go? What, what? You can check out djsunnyd.com uh, or check out DJ Sunny on Facebook. That's probably the, the best bet. All right, awesome. So, Sunny, thank you for showing us this interview, and, you know, best of luck. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming over. All righty, peace.